we all know it says in all that get and get understand. Whatever it is that God has given you, make sure you get understand. Also, to um, pin another scripture with that, 2 Timothy uh, 2 and 5, 2 and 15, it says to study, to show yourself. So again, that's all under the bubble of uh, educate yourself. Everybody say educate yourself. Educate yourself. The first one was understand your calling. Understand your calling. Okay. And lastly, I don't think y'all know I'm going to be up here long. Lastly is be a good servant. Everybody say be a good servant. Be a good servant. Why be a good servant? Why be a good servant? Uh, one thing we, we all want to understand in understanding our gifts, our callings, our purpose. How do we educate ourselves? We want to be a good servant. How do you do that? You share it. The things that God has blessed us with, the talents, our purpose, once we understand that, we want to make sure we share it. We share it. However and with whoever, if God only gives you three people to share with, those are the divine three that you need to share it with. If God gives you over 50, share with that. Because one thing about our gifts and our callings, God want to make sure, He want to see if you're going to be faithful over the few things before He blesses you with that house you want. Before he blesses you with the car that you want. You allow people to ride with you now. In the Yugo. In the Hoopty. So again, you want to make sure we are good Servants, we are good servants. Why? Why? And don't, you know, the Bible tells us don't despise small beginnings. Uh, and I'll, I'll share a little bit of this. I wasn't going to do it. But I'll share a little bit of this for those of you who do not know. I have my star here at Hope Well. This is still my home church. This is still my home church. This is my time. Amen. <laughs> here. Uh, but again, years ago, years ago, I didn't know my purpose. I played here for nine years, and I didn't get serious. I started at age nine. I didn't get serious about music till I turned 18. So in a nine year span, I was just playing here because my mom wanted to. Amen. I didn't understand, I didn't understand, but at the age of 18, God spoke to me, and I realized my calling, my gift, purpose, my talent. And from then until now, if you all know me or follow me, God has blessed me and I thank him religiously for that. Uh, everywhere, uh, something that I joke about, when I go sit in different congregations or uh, when I go to revivals, I always see at least two or three students or two or three people that God has allowed me to water the seed of music, whether it's singing, yeah. um, whatever it is. You know, give a kind word to encourage a word. Um, so again, first thing we want to do, we're going to understand that we are important. Everybody say that I am important. I, I am important. important. Okay, first point was understand your calling. Everybody say understand your calling. Understand your calling. And it's, it's very important that we understand that. We, we have people that walk around every day that don't know their purpose in life. So understand your calling. Second, educate yourself. Everybody say educate yourself. Educate yourself. Why educate yourself? Because the things that God gives you, you want to be a blessing to others, to somebody else. And if you don't educate yourself, you have nothing to give. You have nothing to give. Uh, I, am a, I am a teacher. Uh, I teach music and things of that nature. But I have to go and get my lessons too. I still have a teacher, a mentor that teaches me, believe it or not. I have a long way to go. You know, so but if I don't pour nothing or get somebody to pour something into me, I don't have nothing to pour into my student. So always educate yourself. Um, another thing is be a good servant. Everybody say be a good servant. Be a good servant. Be a good servant because the gifts and the talent that God has given you, it really does not belong to you. Yes. Belongs to the people that God encamped in your care. The people that pass by you in the hallway or pass by you in the store. That kind of word is for them. That kind of word is for them. Um, just a quick sidebar. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, 
um, just a quick sidebar to the adults in here and the, uh, the people that are over. I just say over 21. <laughs> people that are over 21, but it, it works for everybody. A kind word goes a long way. An encouraging word goes a long way. Again, you may not think, okay, I'm saying something to this girl, this young boy, it means nothing because they're going to go back and do the opposite. Trust me, just keep encouraging that individual. Again, I have so many horror stories, but I also have great <laughs> stories from this place. Um, but the reason why I wear shirts and ties, I'm a, I call myself a shirt and tie man. I have a few suits, I do blazers, and this, that, and that. But I'm a always, normally, 99.5% of the time, I'm going to have on a shirt and tie. Why? It was elders in this church, Harris, William, William, uh, Ms. Foster. What they would do every time uh, I would just wear a, a regular shirt, they'll still give me an encouraging word, but when I wore my shirt and tie, and you so look good in that shirt and tie. <laughs> and you know, it gets stuck until the day. It still sticks. It sticks so all again when they, you know, they probably didn't, didn't think that, okay, you know, I'm just saying this encouraging word. But again, just little by little, it was, you know, that seed was planted. Hey, I need a shirt and tie. Okay, they say, I look good. I need a shirt and tie. <laughs> so, so again, sometimes, and, and, and I promise I'm done. This is going to hit a great word. Uh, sometimes continuously helping that youth or saying something positive to that youth, it may not, to you, it may not feel like it's sticking or it's penetrating their heart, but slowly it's, it's tearing away. Mm -hmm. you know, for, the, for the farmers, you all know about tilting, tilting the ground. Mm -hmm. Some grounds are so rough, mm -hmm. you have to dig deep. You got roots up on there. Right. You know, so you got to keep digging before you can really plant. So that encouraging word that first day, you know, you tilt the ground. That second day, that third month, that third year, you still tilt in the ground. And that one day you're gonna plant that seed, the seed's gonna get it, it's gonna get birth, and they'll never forget that kind word, that smile um, that you give. I know, and I promise I'm done. I'm gonna start. <laughs> Ms. Ms. Williams sat over there. Um, and I played the piano this turn. The opposite that way. But I could see Ms. Williams through the, through the pulpit furniture. And even, and this, right here. This other way, I have wings right here, wings right here. They were always in my view. And my mom was saying that, and she was saying that, so she was going to say that. But these two, Ms. Williams, always, I know a lot of Sundays I was flopping. I was playing in the wrong key, one doing so good. <laughs> But these ladies had the biggest smiles on their face, and after service, they always encouraged me. So again, that encouraging word, this is a sidebar for us. I understand what you're calling it, educate yourself, and be a good servant. But that encouraging word goes far. So that's for everybody. Thank you all.